Hi, thanks for clicking on one of my videos. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me ramble on about my artwork. As you can see here, today I am painting a color portrait. I am using my Ewara Micron airbrush and I am using Comart transparent uh, paints. Uh, the topic that I wanted to talk about today was how to render better skin tones. Uh, I am not an expert on this topic, um, not portraying myself as one, um, but I have improved a great deal, I think, from my uh, previous portraits. And so um, I want to share some of that knowledge with you and hopefully shorten your learning curve and help you improve with your own artwork. So what is the first tip that I can share with you? The first tip is to learn to stop using colors straight out of the bottle. Um, that first color that you saw was, uh, it was almost straight out of the bottle, but I did add some red and a little bit of cadmium yellow to it to give it a warmer color because the photograph um, needed it. I then took that same color and I added some some more purple, some brown to build some of the shadow colors that you see me adding here around his nose and around um, the area underneath the eyes. So in years past, one thing that I would do is I would use that, that base flesh color straight out of the bottle and start painting with it. And then I would come in with a light brown and start building the shadows off of that. Uh, you know, I was using so I you know I was using a recipe. I thought in my head, I had this preconceived notion of how to render a portrait, and I would use bottle A, then bottle B, then bottle C, and then at the end, you know, I wanted this portrait to look realistic, and it just wasn't working for me. So learn to tint your your own colors learn to tint colors to match what is on your reference and that is my second tip is learn to use your eyes stop listening to your brain what i mean is your eyes have to be trained to look at the color that is in your reference photo stop painting from memory don't paint from this preconceived notion that all shadows are brown, that all highlights are white. It's just not the case. Let your reference photo guide your choice of color and how you're tinting your paints to render your, your flesh tones. This particular photograph, um, it looked like he had, um, you know, he, he, I think he was an outdoors guy because you could just tell that he spent some time in the sun. He had a little bit of that, that sun-kissed effect and so um, even though in, in years past I probably would have never done that, I used a, um, I think it was a, like, almost like a fluorescent pink um, around his cheeks and around his, um, his forehead to give it that sun-kissed effect. Um, you know, let your reference photo guide your eyes to render the color of skin that's specific to that piece. Don't use a formula. Don't use this preconceived notion of what what your brain thinks skin should look like. I've stopped using colors straight from the bottle. I only use the colors to tint and mix the color in the cup of the airbrush and that has greatly improved. The, the, the final look of my um, my portraits. Um, I am getting close here to the end of the video, so let me uh, finish up here. Um, I've started building, like I said, the the shadow colors off my base. So one thing that I do is at the end of that evening when I'm ready to you know put the airbrush away for the night. 
I take the color and put it in a clean bottle to save it for the next day so that I can still continue to use that same uh, that same family of, of, of paint color to continue to build my uh, my portrait um, it has made it look very uh, very clean and and very natural and um, with this particular portrait I was really really happy with the uh, the final colors I did make his eyes a little bit brighter um, because uh, he had this really pretty shade of blue in his eyes and I wanted to bring that out for the uh, the family that I was painting for um, she was very happy with it and that in itself made me happy um, here's the end piece as you can see um, the, the, the colors are subtle I'm very happy with it um, thanks for watching um, as always please click that subscribe button and uh, thanks again